Welcome to your daily channel message for February 19th and the 20th. This is a uh, time passed by. So this was supposed to be for the last two days, but it's better for these two days because it's a full moon. So um, I got my magic wand. Shout out to Jennifer Brewer, a.k.a. Life Misspelled. Uh, she is the reason I was able to find these wands. Shout out to the person I got them from. Um, other than that, the moon's in Virgo, so Ish is going to get super real. For those of you who feel that Truman Show vibe, this is where the curtains get exposed, the curtains fall. Um, You'll be breaking the fourth wall like never before. And uh, you might be like Truman who just decided to leave the show. Just like, I'm out, peace. But <clears throat> we're stepping into a new reality. This is unprecedented. There is a absolutely no rhetoric. There's no literature. There's nothing out right now that is talking about this. And I don't count. Me talking about this doesn't mean I'm the only one talking about this. I don't count because I'm only talking about it, um, but it's not the same. So this was done on purpose. It's similar to a national security or an international global security issue. Where you have people in the UN or people in the government that's like, we can't tell the public about this. They will go crazy. What are we going to do about an issue that we can't tell the public about but is real? Okay, um, just like in real life, how there's certain global climate issues and um, there's certain things NASA sees in the skies that they can calculate will be an issue that they cannot tell us because no one needs to deal with chaos and world pandemonium. Now, humanity is intuitive, so you can't really hide stuff from us. Spirit will show some of you these things. But this isn't about fear mongering. This is actually an amazing thing. What I'm trying to say is spirit has taken the same approach. Spirit guides, certain celestial beings, they have not really told you or, or alluded to, unless you have Pisces energy, Gemini energy, Sagittarius energy, Virgo energy, you've been seeing this interchangeably. Because if you have mutable sign energies, you're changing from this reality to other worlds constantly in less than picoseconds. So it's hard as a physical being, unless you're Pisces or Sagittarius, in which time starts to, to take a, a non-linear quality. It's not like that for Virgo and Gemini because we're more material. This is what will slowly elude you to facets that spirit has been hiding from you. Even me kind of piecing this together to channel slash cognitively tell you, um, a lot of your spirit guides have been in on this. like. You, you, you've been focusing towards something. The spirit, the spirits and the synchronicities have been having you focus toward your right hand to not let you know what your left hand is doing. All this is merging timelines today and tomorrow. And you're entering a new reality. The next two weeks is a portal into the new moon in Pisces, which is a new reality, a new magical world that it's not us stepping into, but a magical world is stepping into us. We have a whole new magical reality that's going to overlap into our world. This is a higher frequency reality, which will evoke new feelings, new trains of thoughts, new conscious waves. The thing here is, shh, you're going to be revealed over the next couple of days. More profound signs and synchronicities than you've ever been revealed in your entire life. It's gonna take like the last couple of years you've taken and condense it into like two days. Really like three weeks, but this next two days, the full moon. So it's pretty intense. The thing here is don't tell a single soul. If you won $50 million right now, don't tell anybody. Trust me on this. Whatever you witness, keep it between you and spirit. You see my tarot deck right now? I split this and I got the ace of cups I didn't look at it I just picked it up this is coming out of thin air energy news the same dark forces trying to make you feel crazy or weird 
is activating a cognitive part of yourself that almost proves that you're not crazy or weird. So deal with dark force interference the way it does. The Ace of Cups is psychic breakthrough, new love, energy coming out of thin air. You're going to experience a new experience. Your connection with the divine will be more on point than it's ever been. Don't tell a single soul. Keep it between you and spirit. Um, the difference is between a twin flame you have the, or a twin soul. If you have the same moon sign as someone, you have the same soul. So you can tell them. If you have a soulmate, a really close friend who you can't tell anyone else but them, you can tell them. But keep it to yourself. Don't try and explain or prove the things that you have to explain to other people. Surrender. Take that L, which is really a W. And the next minute. The next, the next message that I have is all this talk about supernatural powers awakening, it's happening. It's been happening, but this is going to physically emerge, especially on the 20th. And when it does, it's going to kill a part of yourself. Whatever part that is, let it die. And until the next message, y'all stay blessed.